Hey everybody, it's Alex here. Welcome back. Now, you've seen probably a ton of videos already on YouTube comparing the 16-inch MacBook Pro, the new 2021 edition, versus the 14-inch MacBook Pro. And there's a lot of performance benchmarks and other kinds of comparisons between these two, but I wanted to give you a perspective, my perspective, from uh, somebody who does development work day to day. Believe it or not, YouTube is just uh, something I do for fun. As my day job, I'm a software developer. I like to think of it as a overflow stack developer. Not full stack, overflow stack. Take it as you will. <laughs> All right, now let's get into it. Here's some comparisons that I'd like to bring up from a developer perspective between these two machines. Maybe that'll help you decide which machine you'd want to buy. Let's get some of the more obvious things out of the way first, shall we? This is a 16 inch machine. It's actually 16.2 inches. And therefore the screen is bigger. The laptop itself is bigger. It's heavier. A friend of mine is seriously considering buying the 14 over the 16 because of the weight difference. I myself am used to the 16 and I carry a whole ton of other stuff in my backpack. So I don't really care. But if you are weight sensitive, the 14 might be for you. And this one is actually 14.2 inches. All right, the obvious stuff out of the way. Here's some less obvious stuff, stuff that I've noticed while using these in the last few days. The notch, okay, let's get that out of the way too. Um, the notch, it's there, you'll get used to it, right? Just like you did with your iPhone if you have one. If you don't have an iPhone, you might still have a notch because notches are in, I guess. But the notch does seem bigger on the 14 inch. It just feels bigger. Even though they're the same size, it's more noticeable. It's going to take up a little bit more space percentage wise relative to the rest of the screen. Now you might have seen my other video comparing VS code and how it affects the notch in full screen mode or not. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, but I did want to show you Xcode and how the notch affects the menu system and the difference between these two. So here is an Xcode project. And take a look at the menu up at the top. Now you'll see that on the 16 inch model, the Xcode menu fits on the left side of the notch. But on the 14 inch model, that menu is broken up between menu items on the left and menu items on the right of the notch. This is a native Apple program, right? So they've considered the notch. So they're probably using the safe area API that comes with these new uh, Macs. Make sure you look it up if you are gonna be creating software for the Mac. And that's the new APIs for that uh, safe areas for the notch. Now, some third party vendors are not taking advantage of that yet. And we've seen uh, tweets and messages going back and forth, people complaining that their menu is actually hiding behind the notch. A couple of other things you can look up on the website is the battery life, right? This 16 inch has a maximum battery life of 21 hours and the 14 inch has a maximum life of 17 hours. The last time I stayed up coding for 21 hours straight was um, never. The last time I stayed up coding for 17 hours was uh, never. In fact, I've never coded for probably more than two to three hours in a row. But you might be one of those workaholic people or if you don't have access to a power outlet for an extended period of time, you might appreciate these kinds of things. And I certainly do. This is very noticeable, especially the difference between my old Intel Mac and the new ones. The lifespan is considerably better. Now, 17 versus 21, yes, it is a difference. It's four hours, but uh, are you ever gonna realistically run into that? Probably not. A couple of other things. The speaker panel is bigger on the 16 inch than the 14 inch. Look at that. The speaker panel is more than twice the size for each side of the speaker. That's something to consider if you like using the speakers that are on board. And the speakers that are on board are pretty darn good, so might as well use them. I can tell the difference. I don't know if you can, but this is much louder. That's the 16 inch considerably louder. So if you're going to be using those speakers, do consider that difference. Do you like a large trackpad? The 16 inch has a much, much larger trackpad. So if you're dragging an item, I always have this problem. I start a drag and then I don't calculate in my mind how much space I need to drag. So I have to restart my drag. I know it's there's ways around that, of course, but uh, I always run into that issue. So this larger trackpad is for me. I like that. There's also a lot more space to put your hands and rest your palms on the 16 versus the 14. You have less space, but you can reach the keys easier. And let me add that now that we're going to be doing a little bit more traveling via airplanes, maybe I hope 
And uh, if you're the kind of person like me that likes to bring your laptop, pull out the tray table and work on the airplane, then there is the consideration for the 14 inch, some serious consideration here. Take it from me, I've flown with a 16 inch 2019 model, at least on American Airlines, not the company, but generally airlines in America. Everything is so tight on those seats that uh, I felt like, like working like this the whole time. And uh, the tray tables are not big. So the 16 inch just barely fits. And if the person in front of you leans back, forget about it, you can't use it. Now the 14 inch, you'll have a little bit of space to slide that forward and still be able to lean the screen back a little bit so you can see the screen. Something to consider if you're gonna be flying and working. Also, please note that the 16 inch has a slightly higher panel than the 14 inch. It's about a millimeter difference. I thought I'd point it out. I mean, somebody's gonna mention it and somebody's gonna complain about it. <laughs> so there you go. If you care about the difference in height of the bottom panel where you rest your hands, there you go. It's a little bit taller. Now, before we get into looking at code, uh, just a couple more things in, as far as configuration options for these things. With the 14 inch, you have the option of going down to eight cores for the CPU and 14 for the GPU. You don't have that 814 option for the 16 inch. The minimum is 1016. The way I like to remember it is uh, for the 14, it's 14 GPU and for the 16, it's 16 GPU. Those are the minimums. And also with the 14 inch, you get a choice of the power adapter. You can have a 67 watt power adapter or a 96 watt power adapter. With the 16 inch model, you only get the 140 watt power adapter. I've tried the 140 and I've tried the 96 with both of these, everything works fine. I've even tried a third party 36 watt power adapter on both of these machines. It charges fine on all those. Now I'm sure you're gonna get some benefits from a bigger block, like it's gonna charge faster. But if you're traveling, you might consider the weight difference there as well. That 140 watt adapter is huge and it's heavy. Now, as a side note, I don't recommend using third party power adapters. Just had to put that out there. Let's take a look at some code, shall we? Here is Visual Studio Code. I've got a project open. It's WebKit. I mean, it doesn't matter what project it is, right? But uh, we have a markdown file here open. I wanted to open this so that we can get the number of lines and the number of columns and see how much each one fits. Here in this markdown file, we see 48 lines of code, or in this case, markdown lines. And on the 14 inch, we have 34. Now, if you've seen my previous video, these do vary a little bit depending on whether you're going full screen with VS Code or not. Of course, you can adjust uh, the resolution, you can adjust the font size. I'm running these as defaults just to get a comparison. Now let's take a look at the columns. Somebody in the comments asked about this, so I figured we'd do it. Let's go to the end of the line here. We have 180 columns here. By default, no adjustments in settings for VS Code. And on the 14 inch, this one wraps quite early. We're at 180 right there where the cursor is. And let's go back here. We're at 136 at the end of the line, and that's where it starts to wrap. So here you can get 180 characters wide here it's 136 and one more thing this is just a guess but I'm gonna guess that cooling is gonna be a little bit better on the bigger machine especially if you're gonna max out uh, your machine if you're getting the 14 inch and you're gonna max it out and by that I mean you're gonna get the max processor Okay, I'll stop. But assuming the same kind of processor in each one of these machines, you have a lot more metal and a lot more space and the fans are spread out more on the 16 inch model. So the cooling is probably going to be better. And if the cooling is gonna be better, perhaps since the airflow is gonna be a little bit better too because the fans might be on if you're doing some demanding tasks, which we're gonna be doing very soon here, perhaps your code will build faster. Maybe we should test that out. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this was informative. I'd appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Turn that button gray. I'll see you next time.